Hey YouTube, welcome back to Derek's workshop. My workshop, it's weird to say that, a third person. Anyway, don't really have a project tonight, but I'm revisiting, as you can tell from the title, welding thin sheet metal with a flux core welder. I'm gonna be using the Century flux core welder again. This time, to disappoint you, for those that were wanting me to weld 24 gauge again, uh, tried to use the 030 wire, which in hindsight, I had it. I, I had a spool of it and I meant to change it out in that first video and I just didn't. So I just completely botched that. I ended up throwing all that metal away, just got rid of it after that. Uh, and I've been kind of waiting around to do this video until I found a piece of 24 gauge sheet metal that I didn't have to buy. Well, I've had a lot of requests for this, probably at least three or four. And I just never actually found another piece of 24 gauge sheet metal for free, let alone that I could buy. So I ended up spending seven of my own dollars to make this video and YouTube is paying me absolutely nothing right now because I only have 400 subscribers, I have to have a thousand, so maybe help me out so I can start getting some like ad revenue from this. Share it with your friends. If you have multiple YouTube channels, subscribe to me on all of them, it'd help a lot. Anyway, so we're gonna do it with 22 gauge sheet metal where this says it's, the Century FC90 says it's rated up to, or down to, I should say, uh, 18 gauge. We'll just do it on the old bench vise here instead of on my welding table so I don't weld and burn through this all over my welding table. So we'll just do it in the air off the vise with it bent over. And enough talking, I talk too much in my videos. So let's get to it. Gasless 0 0.030. It's really hard not to burn through. I'm gonna turn the wire feed speed all the way down. It's definitely better than before. I'm having a little bit better results, but still really, really rough. Now let's try just stopping and starting. I don't know, even there, I still kind of call that a bust. It's sort of a bead, but not, not really. All right, I'm gonna try and fill one of these holes. This is 22 gauge. Uh, my brother-in-law knows that I've got a welder. He doesn't know I have a MIG welder now, uh, which would be the ideal process for this. But uh, he was, bought an old like 1980s i'm not a, really a truck guy but he bought an old 1980s uh chevy c10 or whatever and he needs some holes filled in the doors on the sheet metal and he asked if we could just fill some of the holes using the flux core welder uh and then grind them down and uh you know see if that works um We'll probably take the MIG welding setup down to Southern Arizona sometime and try that uh, instead of flux core. But I'm gonna try and fill these holes just because I'm curious if we can do it with flux core. Mm.
Well, I was able to fill that hole. I'll try another one here, one of these other burn throughs. Uh, just out of curiosity, just for fun, I think I'm gonna try and grind these down and see how it looks, you know, for auto body purposes, I guess. Not that I'm any kind of an auto body welder, but you know, uh, I guess I just wonder what it would look like underneath all that if you ground it down flat. You were just trying to fill some holes to make it look good enough, not necessarily to do it as a professional, you know, paid for job, but let's try real quick. I mean, yeah, you could probably fill those holes with the flux core welder and throw some Bondo over it. I mean, I just kind of uh, ground it down just a little bit or just enough, not necessarily as much as you probably would want to if it was on a vehicle door, but uh, I definitely think that, you know, that's doable, you know, for a do-it-yourself situation. All right, well, let's, uh, let's try welding these two pieces together. Cool, so I was able to tack them together. So let's see if we can't run a bead right on that side. I will say real quick, just a you know, I'm not really the best welder out there. Somebody who's really good and really skilled and can just read the you know the the puddles really well, the weld puddles and everything, maybe they could actually do this a lot better than me. You're not getting this from you know the best sheet metal welder in the world. You're getting it from a dude who works in his garage, makes a little money, you know, messes around a little bit with this stuff. Not necessarily someone who takes paid jobs for it. Just saying. Uh, kinda, <laughs> kinda, it kinda works. I left this half to try and do a real slow, just one little bead at a time. So we'll try that. I'd almost say that's worse. All right, just right here, I'm gonna try and do a little spot weld, I guess. All right, let's see. Uh, nope, no, uh, No weld there. Oh. And there too. This is the underside of that slow, you know, one little bead at a time. Anyway, looks pretty nasty. We'll try that spot weld one more time. Let's try that. Might have been a little too hot still. That might have been my fault, but that also broke, so. All right, so honest to goodness, this is the first time I have 
welded on sheet metal this thin. I have done 14 gauge prior to this, but this will be the first time I've done MIG welding on this thin of sheet metal. So let's just go ahead and try and run a bead. Wow, that's interesting. Even that, I think, was too cold, which is kind of crazy. So I'm gonna try and run one more bead and uh, run it a little bit hotter. That's a little better, not as tall. I could probably still turn it up a little bit, which is interesting, because this is 030 wire, where this welder will run 023 even, and that seems like the more appropriate wire for this, but. Okay, so just in conclusion real quick, um, I definitely think, you know, like that application that my brother-in-law was asking if we could use my flux core welder I think in that application to just fill in a small hole, I think that you could get away with it. I really do. Uh, but anything beyond that, even the spot welding, I just, I don't think any of that's really going to work. Um, so definitely if you need to go thinner than 18 gauge, go, uh, go find a, go find a MIG welder somewhere or get your own set. I love milk welding. <laughs>